What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Hoops for Us podcast. Today, I am joined by a very special guest. Uh, he is ranked in the top 10 for the class of 2022, Dariq Whitehead. Dariq, how's it going, man? It's going good. How are you going with you? Doing good, man. Thanks for asking. So, Dariq, the first question that I have for you today, man, is for everyone out there that doesn't know too much about you, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you know, named Dariq Whitehead, go to Montverde Academy, you know, class of 2022. Uh, and you want like outside of basketball, you know, something y'all won't know probably is, you know, it won't look like it, but I'm a real goofy person, you know, dance a lot, play the game a lot, and you know, like chilling. Awesome, man. Awesome. So, Derek, like you just told us, you attend Mount Verde Academy, where this past season you guys were argue, arguably uh, one of the best ba- high school basketball teams ever. Uh, how do you think you evolved as a player this last season and just tell us how last season uh, for you? This last season, I feel like I evolved as, you know, becoming a leader, you know, basically getting ready for our seniors to leave. Mm-hmm. I got to learn behind, you know, guys like Kate Cunningham, Scotty Barnes and stuff like that. And, you know, it really helped me to show, you know, the leadership they had, the mentality they came with in practice every day, which, you know, I think should transfer great going into next year. Absolutely, man. Uh, what do you think made this team so special this past season, you would say? What made it special was uh, no one cared about scoring. And that's what, like, you know, most teams, if they got more than one top player on the team, it's like they're trying to get their points or they want to combine for a total of 60 points. No one on the team cared about scoring. We really wanted to win. So that was our main mentality. As long as we win in, Cade, Scotty, they could score eight points and they won't care. As long as we won, they was proud. So that's what I think you know, took us to, you know, being the best team this year as we really just wanted to win the game, you know, win the national championship. We all have one goal. Absolutely, man. That's awesome. So, man, you played under uh, Coach Kevin Boyle, uh, Hall of Fame coach. Well, just tell us what was it like playing under such a good coach as himself? It's a real good experience. I mean, like, you know, as you guys should know, he got a lot of players who he's got to the NBA. He's know what he's talking about. You know, he, he know what it takes to get there. So really, you know, if you listen to him and do as he say, you're really on the right path of, you know, getting where you want to be, which is the NBA. And, you know, he's been around it all. You know, older coaches who, who they say is legendary coaches. He done coached himself. A lot of great players, Kyrie Irving, Michael Gaykill, Chris, Ben Simmons, are like he coached a lot of them. So it's really just, you know, listening to him, you know, what he's talking about, and he's going to really get you where you need to be. For sure, man, for sure. So, Derek, your recruitment has blown up in these past couple of weeks, man. Uh, picking up offers from Seton Hall, LSU, Tennessee, Oklahoma State, and Wake Forest. Uh, just break down your recruitment for us and uh, tell us about who's been in contact with you the most and the – relationships you have built with some of these coaches during the recruitment process? Uh, schools that have been reaching out a lot is, you know, schools like Seton Hall, uh, LSU, Georgia, you know, Wake Forest, uh, who else, Tennessee, uh, Oklahoma State, schools like that. There's a couple of schools, Arizona, for instance. There's a lot of schools, you know, that have been re- I've been reaching out to and stuff like that, so – Recruitment, you know, I feel like the recruitment lately, like you said, the past couple of weeks has been the best my recruitment has been in a while. Absolutely, man. Uh, once this coronavirus stuff is over, man, I know it's basically shut everything down at the moment. Uh, do you plan on taking any visits? Uh, I probably, you know, I probably wait to take my visit. I probably, you know, after this, start working out, you know, going up there with Tim Durant, working out with the team and stuff like that, getting ready to, you know, just in case we have an EYBL session. Mm-hmm. You know, making sure I stay ready for that. You know, the visits can always come later. So after this corona stuff over, I feel like I'll be spending more time with the team and stuff practicing with the team. Absolutely, man. So, man, uh, I was doing a little bit of research on you, and I've seen it. Uh, you have participated in multiple USA Basketball ju- uh, Junior National Team camps. Uh, just tell us about the experience of a- attending these camps and being around all the top players in the nation. Uh, the experience is great. You know, when you go to those camps, it's, uh, 
it's like real competitive. No one wants to get, you know, scored on a lot. No one wants to say, oh, I've been had you on my mixtape. So it's real competitive. Everybody, you know, picking up 94 feet. So it's like everybody really playing the hardest they, you know, played in a while. And that's what I like most about it. It's like no one will take it easy on you. Like even if the younger guys, like the 2022 guys got to play the 2020 guys, they not going to joke around. They going to score, you know, dunk on you, do whatever they got to do. So that's the main thing I like about it is the competitiveness. Um, I feel like, you know, when you're there, you're competing for a reason to make the team as everybody should be. So that's what I would really like about the USA basketball trial. Absolutely, man. So, like you just said before, uh, you're a part of Team Duran on the EYBL circuit, man. Uh, how did you get hooked up with them and be a part of their program? And like I was just touching on before, this coronavirus has kept you guys from being with each other and playing EYBL right now. Uh, so, what are you most excited about once you get to get with your guys in Team Duran? Uh, really just, you know, bonding, you know, making sure we become closer as a team. Because, I mean, obviously, I'm pretty sure we all have one goal, which is to, you know, win Peach Jam. Mm -hmm. So really, you know, clicking as a team, making sure, you know, we all happy with each other playing on a team, making sure we all having good performances. So, you know, because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, say we the ones who won Peach Jam. So. Absolutely, man. What uh, Once you do end up being with Team Durant and the coaches and all the players, what do you think you'll benefit most from being with everyone? Uh, well, talking from the coaches, it looked like they got a pretty, you know, unique system like you know they got like people who helps with the the mental part of the game and stuff like that and which I never really had you know the mental part of the game I always did like the physical stuff which is the playing and stuff but like they said it's 95 percent it's like 90 percent mental 10 percent if it's something like that so when they told me that that was really one thing I was looking to benefit from which is the mental part of the game they got a lot of you know a lot of stuff that other teams can't offer which is a real good thing absolutely man all right, Derek, let's break down your game a little bit, man. You're a 6'5", small forward with incredible athleticism. I was watching many highlights on you, catching windmills on the fast break, back, back scratchers, all everything. Uh, you play way above the rim, and you're very crafty with finishing around the rim when you don't dunk the ball. Uh, you have a great one dribble pull-up, too, that keeps defenders on their toes because you're known for attacking the rim very aggressively, but you can use that pull-up to be effective as well. Uh, what is one part of your game that you would say goes a little bit unnoticed? I noticed, I would say, my playmaking skills. It's like, you know, I like I said, I had a great point guard, Kay Cunningham, who, you know, was the main one with the ball in his hands, who was able to facilitate, you know, get guys into the groove of things. But I definitely feel like one thing I, people don't see enough is my playmaking skills, which hopefully, you know, they can see my junior year coming back to my bird. I have the, balls in my, the ball in my hand a little more, so. That's definitely one part of my game. And also defense. I feel like people don't like Coach Boyle, he knows I could pick up 94 feet and make the guy turn the ball over. But it's just like, you know, I haven't really been showing it. But that's also another thing I feel like people don't realize about my game is 94 feet and uh, playmaking. Absolutely, man. All right, Derek, the last question that I have for you today, man, is uh, what's one part of your game that you would like to improve before your junior season? And what are some goals that you want to accomplish during your junior season at Montford? Uh, um, well, for the goals, I want to just, you know, next year be the best player I can, you know, be obviously it's still going to be room for error to get better as my senior year and stuff come like that. But next year, I just want to be able to say, oh, I did the best, you know, I can bet I, the best I can do. And that's really the main thing for me saying I, you know, went out there, gave my all, hopefully get a national championship my junior year. And without, you know, I feel like all parts of my game can get better. You know, I'm not saying none of my, none of the, you know, if right now, none of them is what they should be if you was to try to get to the NBA. So I feel like, you know, they should be way higher than what they are. I feel like everything, my finishing could even get better. Shooting could definitely get better. So I feel like there's a lot of aspects of my game that can get better. Absolutely, man. All right, Derek, that's all the questions that I have for you today, man. Uh, can't thank you enough for joining me on the show. Hopefully uh, this pandemic ends soon so you can get uh, with Team Durant and playing on the EYBL circuit and winning the Peach Jam Championship. And I wish you nothing but the best of luck in your junior year at Montverde Academy, man. And uh, I'll definitely be in touch. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no doubt, man. Stay safe. You too. All right, man. All right, man.